up front, I've got to say that this is a game that never clicked with me. I'm not a pro wrestling fan to begin with, and I always had problems with the matches. Still, the game seemed to be wildly popular. Turns out, I'm not the only person who was really unhappy with this game. Gekito Pro Resu Tokon Densetsu roughly means Furious Pro Wrestling, The Legend of the Fighting Spirit. Initially, it was promoted as Tecmo World Wrestling. And while they retained that name overseas, for whatever reason they decided to go with different branding in Japan. The concept of the game is that it's a pro wrestling tournament among ten wrestlers. While they can all use the same basic moves, each of them has a few special moves as well. Before each match, you have the opportunity to train yourself to get stronger. There's three different types of training, and they are all identical. You mash the button to fill this bar, and if it fills up, you get one more point of power. You don't get more speed for doing one thing or stronger grappling from another. All three of them just contribute to power. In a match, the A button kicks, the B button punches, at least when you're standing apart. Once you start grappling, or a wrestler is on the ground, or you start running by double tapping, all of these change. There's also inputs you can do to trigger a special move, and if you pull it off you get a little cutscene of the action. There's a ton of different grapples and extra moves you can do. You can also jump off the ropes, or throw your opponent out of the ring. The huge variety of moves is a pro and a con in this game. It's great that they managed to fit in so much animation, but it's not always clear exactly which move you're going to be doing. Successfully pulling off a move will give you a little bit of life back, and naturally it will hurt your opponent. So the net change is actually a bit more significant than just the damage that you're doing. Once your opponent is worn down, you can try to pin them. Keep them down for three seconds, and you win the match. You could also win the match if they get tossed out of the ring and stay outside the ring for 20 seconds. Every match can go on for seven minutes, and it is possible to end in a draw. If you lose, or draw, then you'll get a chance for a rematch. And you get to train before you take them on once more. After every match, you get a password. It's not very useful. The password stores your win-loss record and which wrestlers you've defeated. It doesn't save your training. So if you continue with the password, you have to start building up your strength all over again. If you manage to take out the other nine wrestlers, then you'll be challenged by one final wrestler. Defeat them to win the game. I couldn't get the feel down for any of the wrestling in Gekito Pro Wrestling. The most effective strategy I had was to flail wildly and mash the A and B buttons. I'm sure there's more to it than just that, since I never did manage to win a match. But a lot of the moves do require just mashing the button as hard as you can to pull them off. That was a common complaint for this game, but the bigger complaint, by far, was that it had competition. About eight weeks before Gekito Pro Resu was released, the PC Engine got Fire Pro Wrestling. Now that game had plenty of rough edges, but it was by far the best pro wrestling game out there, and it launched an absolutely enormous franchise. While Gekito Pro Resu had some nice touches, like the ringside announcer and the cutaways to special moves, it really doesn't hold a candle to Fire Pro. There is a good argument to be made that Gekito Pro Resu is the best wrestling game on the Famicom, it lived in the shadow of the most important wrestling game franchise of all time. That can be pretty harsh for a game. 